Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On August 1, 2025, a thunderclap rocked the Chinese semiconductor industry. Hangzhou PU Lin Technology officially delivered its independently developed PLSR nanoimprint lithography system, achieving a line width precision of less than 10 nanometers and breaking Canon's 20-year monopoly in this field. Dubbed a nano-stamp by engineers, this device replaces traditional photolithography with physical imprinting, bypassing ASML's EUV lithography blockade. This reduces energy consumption by 90% and cuts costs by 60% giving China's memory chip manufacturing industry a powerful new weapon. Nanoimprint lithography, NIL, completely overturns traditional photolithography logic. Traditional photolithography relies on extreme ultraviolet, EUV, light passing through a complex lens system to project circuit patterns onto photoresist. Nanoimprint lithography, on the other hand, directly presses a quartz template engraved with nanoscale patterns onto the wafer surface, like a stamp, completing the pattern transfer through physical contact. This method bypasses the optical diffraction limit and theoretically enables breakthroughs in 3 nanometers process technology without requiring ASML's exorbitantly expensive lenses and EUV light sources. The PU-LIN PLSR system has achieved three key breakthroughs. Average residual layer thickness is reduced to below 10 nanometers, with a fluctuation range of less than 2 nanometers, and the aspect ratio of the imprinted structure exceeds 7 to 1. These metrics directly surpass Canon's flagship FPA, 1200 NZ2C, released in 2024, which only supports 14 nanometers line width. In particular, the aspect ratio of the PLSR system clears the technical barriers for ultra-high stacking of 3D NAND flash memory layers. Traditional nanoimprinting requires laminating the wafer and template in a vacuum environment, which is extremely inefficient. The PU Lin team pioneered non vacuum hard plate lamination technology. Using an intelligent algorithm to compensate for micron level warpage between the template and wafer in real time, it achieves zero bubble lamination in an atmospheric environment, increasing production capacity by threefold. Another breakthrough is the dynamic inkjet control system, which like a nanoscale syringe, precisely dispenses photoresist based on chip structure variations, increasing material utilization from 60% to 85% and reducing residual layer uniformity to the atomic level. PU Lin has also developed a solvent cleanable photocurable adhesive to completely address the fatal flaw of nanoimprinting, the risk of expensive quartz templates being contaminated and rendered useless by residual adhesive. This adhesive can be dissolved and cleaned with common solvents after imprinting, significantly increasing the template lifespan from 50 cycles compared to traditional methods to 2,000 cycles, while reducing costs by 40%. The combined power of equipment and materials has enabled mass production stability to move from the lab to the fab. PLSR equipment has completed process validation in memory chips, silicon-based microdisplays, silicon photonics chips, and advanced packaging. In production line testing at Yangtze Memory Technologies, the equipment has enabled 3D NAND flash memory stacking to increase from 512 to 667 layers, achieving a storage density per watt exceeding 1.2 TB, while reducing manufacturing costs by 25%.
Bose mass-produced silicon-based OLED microdisplays using this technology have seen yield rates soar from 65% to 82%, reducing unit costs by $30. In the communications chip sector, Huawei has used PLSR equipment to manufacture silicon grating couplers, increasing optical signal coupling efficiency from 75% to 90%. This breakthrough enabled Huawei's 6G optical modules to successfully enter the supply chains of European operators, such as Deutsche Telekom and Vodafone, breaking through Western defenses in the high-end optical communications market for the first time. The delivery of PULIN equipment has ignited synergy across the industry chain. Ningbo Jiangfeng Electronics, an upstream supplier, supplies nanoimprint template materials, achieving a flatness tolerance of quartz substrates within 0.5 nanometers at a price 40% lower than imported materials. Nanjing University of Science and Technologies, KRF Photoresist Yield, has exceeded 99%, and Tongcheng New Materials Nano Imprint Adhesive has entered SMIC's production lines. China's domestic production rate for semiconductor equipment has jumped from 15% in 2020 to 32% by 2025. Nano Imprint lithography currently has an alignment accuracy of 10 nanometers while logic chip manufacturing requires a 1 nanometer level. PLSR processes 50 wafers per hour, only one-third the speed of EUV lithography machines. Overlay error control for multilayer patterns remains a bottleneck, so this technology is currently more suitable for products with high structural repetition, such as memory chips. Faced with China's breakthrough, Japan's Canon urgently adjusted its strategy. The price of its nanoimprint lithography equipment, the FPA 1200NZ2C, was reduced by 37.5% from $80 million to $50 million in an attempt to regain memory chip equipment orders lost to China. The U.S. Department of Commerce then added PULIN technology to the entity list, restricting its import of key components. Through a combination of domestic substitution and reverse engineering, the PULIN team achieved independent control of 90% of its core components. For example, replacing a Japanese FANUC precision motion module with a domestically produced piezoelectric ceramic driver reduced costs by 60%. The company's in-house developed inkjet head boasts a lifespan of 1 billion cycles, surpassing similar products from Riken in Japan.